okay, I have my Auntie Dee back, and she's just telling me stories about my adoptive grandparents, my grandmother and my grandfather, and she's about to tell me about my grandfather. He was very nice. He was just the opposite of his wife. <laughs> my, my, grandma, my grandma was kind of tough. And he, and he loved to watch the baseball game. He was just, he just liked it. it that must have been in later years, because I don't think they had television. They didn't have TV. No. Oh, so he'd go to the Cubs Park. You mean he'd go to the he'd ball watch game? The, he would watch the people, the kids that played in the park. The oh, park. I thought you meant their professional ball no. games. Yeah, or you would hear it on the radio. You're right. You'd hear it on the radio. And he would watch that. And, and uh, he, he, they lived upstairs and he'd come in and we all sat out. People years ago sat outside in front of their house. Uh -huh. you know, they didn't stay inside or have a... Even when I was a kid, we did that. Sit. We sat outside. All the time. You couldn't wait to get the dishes done. Just go outside and sit. And there was nothing yeah. to do. There was nothing. There was plenty to do, but it wasn't like today. You could go. Uh, how would I say? I don't know how. Just to go on there. You could go to the corner. Uh, we, we well, there was still the corner ice cream cone. We went to remember Heimstadt. The corner ice cream on Schiller and, and I, on Sedgwick and Evergreen. Mm -mm, I don't remember that, Auntie D. Well, you lived at Evergreen. Well, yeah, but how old was I? <laughs> Wait, no, was I like two born, months old? You were born after they lived, moved. Okay, well, that's after. probably why I don't remember. Well, uh, well you By were, the way, this uh, is a new video. So this is a new video. So tell everybody how old you are again, because this is a new video. Oh, 96, why? 96. So we just, because I'm proud of you. <laughs> really? I'm impressed. I'm 96. 96 happy, and I like it, and I don't mind it, and I'm proud of it. And you yeah, should I be. That good when so I'm tell us about years past, like you were just doing. That's really interesting. Like, how was it being little before all this? Well, we before all this is right, before we played in the streets, and the cars yeah. would stop for us. They didn't go, boom, like they do now. And pass you up, and if they hit you, that's all right too, you know. <laughs> Did but you say they, they hit you? They, uh, <laughs> then we had a fire plug in front of our house, and 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 the the beach was only about six weeks, six blocks away from us. The lake. If it was real hot, a couple of us kids would walk to the lake, Lake Michigan and Gothi Street and stay there overnight because it was so hot. Then get up early and walk back home. That, that was really something, you know. Wow. You wow. Now, Good times. now, today you can't stay on the beach after 10 o'clock. You have to go leave it. Yeah, you probably wouldn't want to anyway. If you're on there, and you're on there on your own. So then, then we had a baseball. The kids would play baseball in front of our, our house was on a, 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 tea, a tea thing. A, uh, 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 Gothy Street ran north and east and west. Okay. And Scott Street, which used to be the Beth, 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 oh, what, what the heck's his name? Beth, he wrote music. Oh. Famous? Uh, yeah, with a B. What's, I know what yours is. Beethoven? Huh? Not Beethoven. Beth Bach? Be I know it. I know it. Was he a um, writer in the um, 1900s? Like yeah. He I was, think it's... He wrote, it's, re music. He wrote a classical music. Right. I was going to say classical music. So oh. she's Beethoven. Thinking about, that's what oh, I yeah, said. Yeah, I said Beethoven. Beethoven. I'm sorry. I didn't hear you. That's okay. But the street was named <laughs> I know you don't like listening to me. It was named by <laughs> Beethoven, and it was changed to Scott Street. Okay. Because Scott Street ran east and west, and it, they didn't want it to have a different name. And then later on, they had Scott Street further west, so they the whole thing is Scott Street, you know, from the lake to wherever it ends. Okay. I lived on Gothy Street, which used to be Hind Place. Gothy Street ended on Sedgwick Street, but it began after after Sedgwick Street. It began. It was Hind Place, but they wanted to be Gothy all the way, so they named it Gothy took off Hyde Place and they named it Gothi. Okay. They did that with a lot of streets. Uh, we lived on, we all, I'll tell you, our neighborhood, not where I lived off, but the whole neighborhood, 
you know, blocks, say about four blocks radius around, was very together. We all, we knew Close each net. other. Yeah. We knew each other and everybody, you know, uh, visited each other, you know. Yeah. And um, my father had a ice and cold business and he had, his business was with the neighbors, you know. But uh, then we had a ice cream parlor on, uh, on Sedgwick and, and Scott Street, no, 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 Evergreen, uh, Heimstadt's. It was a drugstore okay. also. It was a drugstore with a ice cream parlor. We used to all go there and have ice cream. We went. Okay. Then on the corner of, that was on the, what do you call it? East, east south corner, that was Heimstadt's. And on the northwest corner was, not on the corner, was the shoemaker's thing. And next there was Maria's uh, store. Maria used to sell frozen banana hooks. Did you ever have a frozen banana? Mm-mm, but I've heard of them. She used to have, uh, they sell them in the, in the, in the uh, freezers here. They sell them here in the freezers. And the frozen banana is, is a regular banana, and then she dip it in chocolate and have it freeze. And we go there and get it for two cents. You could buy one. Nice. Time. But if it was a big one, you buy it, pay us a nickel, you know. Okay. And that was that was that was That's uh, a treat. our treat. That yeah. was our treat. An ice cream cone was uh, five cents, and you got one cone, one dip, or two dips for ten cents. You know. What else did we have? We had uh, Carmela's. Uh, Grocery store was there. Then further down was Caputo's. Mm -hmm. They're grocery. still around. Then across the street from Caputo's, right across the street, was uh, Homewood Inn. It was a bar, which we all went. It was like a neighbor. It was it was a family owned, and it was a neighborhood bar. Yeah. That was on Gothi and Sedgwick, across from Goth from Gothi to Scott Street, was Oscar Myers. Okay. Remember Oscar Mayer? Mm hmm. And uh, uh, they had a plant there and the plant in Wisconsin. Next to that was Washburn's Trade School, which is now, I think, uh, it's now it's now up north on next to Old Riverview. Remember Riverview? Mm hmm. Oh, well, next, yeah. a couple blocks over was the uh, the name of was the name of what they called Washburn School used to be Washburn they had I forget it's a boys tech school okay boys now it's boys and girls Lane Tech Lane Tech that's it that's mm -hmm. way up north and uh, yeah North. I think everybody went there yeah you know? and but now they called the uh, Washburn trade was no Washburn Trade was not called Lane Tech after that. It was called something else, a funny name, Cos Cosley or something, Cosley Street, I don't know. But that was, we were close to the loop. If you want, you could walk to the loop about a mile, that's all. It was, you know, real nice. We could walk to the lake. We lived in a good neighborhood, the near north side, really. Now, if we lived uh, two blocks or three blocks east, we would be at the Gold Coast, but we didn't have that kind of money. Yeah, Nobody, the name of it None of us like had that. that. Yeah. You know. And, uh, and then, oh, after Hi oh, oh, Heimstadt's drugstore, across the street, Marshall Fields, Mr. Marshall Fields built an apartment building, which is two blocks long and one block wide. Okay. And it was, if you lived there, you had money. Okay. No, and every we get some students from there, and everybody say, "Oh, they got money. They're rich." You know, we we didn't have nothing, so we were jealous, or if you want to call it jealous. Uh, but I think we had better time than those rich people. You betcha. Yeah, yeah. I we didn't have that. everything we wanted. We didn't get everything we wanted. But you had everything you needed. I don't yeah. see one kid. I'm 96 years old, and I don't see one kid. I lived in Berwyn. I lived in Chicago for 31 years. I lived in Berwyn for eight years, and I've lived here 57 years. I between Berwyn and here, 57 and eight is what 65. In 65 years, I have never seen one kid play hopscotch in the street. 
like we did. You're right. I don't yeah. see that anymore. No. Yeah, there was a sense I don't of even see kids community. playing jump rope anymore. Not jump rope? Yeah, what anymore. about the ball you play and you turn your leg over it? Yeah. And then hide and, hide, hide and seek. You don't see that either. No. You know, unless they've got a, a phone, a, 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 a iPad or something, those kids don't know what fun is. No, really. they don't. Yeah. They're playing all these stupid games on there now. There's more games on, on cell phones than anything else. Games. Yeah. You know yeah, very mean? true. They got <laughs> new games going on that, and it's transferred to that. Oh. <laughs> it's confusing, isn't it? It's a confusing world now. <laughs> what, 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 the nervous breakdown? Anyway, um, 